beginning their special pillowfish feeding. The zookeepers will land one fish for each pickle. And they'll put a multivitamin in the gill of that fish. So they make sure each penguin is getting just one fish by marking them off their list. And then they'll also try to weigh them on that big scale there on the beach so they can keep track of their health and how they're doing, see how well they're eating. This is the only hand fed fish they get today. Later they'll get the scattered pigeons where the fish is actually thrown in the water. And then they swim for their food to keep them active and give them a little bit of competition. He's like reaching his neck out. He's gonna, I can reach it without getting on the skin. And you can see one of the Gen 2 penguins, little guys with the white on their head, standing in front of us on the rock with his wings out. Often they'll do this when they get kind of too warm and they're trying to cool down by letting the bottom of the skin from their mouth. And the squawking from that king penguin in the back you're hearing can be kind of a call to their mate. So sometimes they'll call like that and their mate will answer so that they can find each other. So it's pretty neat. Penguins have good hearing. They can hear each other even in a large colony of lots of penguins. Um, so pink penguins can recognize their mate's call or their chick's call from up to a kilometer away. So they can hear the differences in frequencies between individual penguins. And once our keepers are 